Okay, so this is about distance time graphs. So here we have a little distance time graph to have a look at. Now, let's just say a couple of things about this. First of all, distance time graphs show us, as time progresses, the distance that you travel. Okay, so it's, it's displaying the distance travelled over a period of time. And distance time graphs are one of two only two types of graphs in physics where we join the points up dot to dot with a straight line so that's distance time graphs and velocity time graphs they're the only two types of graphs where we do that now let's look at a couple of um, sections of this graph here so let's look at section um, a to begin with okay if you look at this graph section here closely over the first 10 seconds okay we're traveling a distance of 50 meters in 10 seconds okay so 50 meters in 10 seconds that's the distance that we're traveling so the distance is the difference between the starting point which is zero and the end point here which is 50 okay because that there is 50 meters and that's taking us a period of 10 seconds now if you break up this graph here into sections over the first five seconds we travel 25 meters Okay, and then obviously over the next five seconds we travel another 25 meters. So what we're saying here is if we split this down into smaller units of time, in each of those units of time we're traveling the same distance. And that tells us that this object during section A is traveling um, and it's moving. So we're moving 50 metres in 10 seconds. That means we must be moving. Okay, so it's moving at a certain speed. But because as we split this down, in the first five seconds we travel 25 metres, in the next five seconds we travel 25 metres, in each section of time we're travelling the same distance, we're travelling at a constant speed. Okay, if we were not travelling at a constant speed, then the distance that you travel in the first five seconds would not be the same as the distance you travel in the next five seconds. If you split this down even further, and it's difficult to show on this graph, but if you split this down into one, two, three, so if you split this down into seconds, one, two, three, four, five seconds, and so on, every second on this graph you'll find that you are moving a distance of five meters in one second, another five meters in the next one second, another five meters in the next one second and so on. So after three seconds we've moved 15 metres in total. Okay, if you continue with this, in the next second you'll travel another five metres. So after four seconds you'll have travelled 20 metres. After five seconds you'll have travelled another five metres. That'll be 25 metres. So because when you split this up, you travel the same distance in every period of time, you must be going at a constant speed. And we can see that because this graph here is a straight line. Because it's a straight line, not a curve, that tells us it's a constant speed. And because the graph is, it has a slope, it has a gradient, it's moving upwards, that tells us it's got a, that we're actually moving at a speed. Okay. Now if you look at this next section, section B here, after 10 seconds, you've traveled 50 meters. After 20 seconds, you've still only traveled 50 meters. So in section B, we've, we, we just don't move. We're not moving, okay? Because we're at the same position at the start as we are at the end. We've still only traveled 50 meters from where we started. So we haven't moved, okay? So we haven't traveled any extra distance in any of the time periods across here. So we're not moving. And we know this because this line here is flat. Because it's flat horizontal line, that tells us we are not moving. Okay, if you look at section C now, after 20 seconds we've travelled 50 metres, after 30 seconds we've travelled 250 metres, okay? So in this entire section here we're travelling a distance of 200 metres, okay? From 50 up to 250, the entire distance travelled is 200 metres. If you look after 25 seconds, you've travelled from 50 up to 150 okay this point here is 150 meters so in section c the over over 10 seconds we travel oops 200 meters 
and over five seconds here, we travel from 50 up to 150, 100 meters. And then in the next five seconds from 25 to 30, we travel, so this is from uh, 20 to 25 seconds. This is from 25 seconds to 30 seconds. Okay, so five second period of time. We travel another 100 meters from 150 up to 250. So again, we're traveling the same distance, no matter how you break it down, we're traveling equal distances in equal periods of time. Okay, over each five seconds, we travel 100 meters. In total, over the 10 seconds, we travel 200 meters. That tells us that we're traveling here at a constant speed. But if you compare it to A, we're traveling at a faster constant speed because in five seconds we travel 100 meters, whether with, whereas with A, in five seconds, we only traveled 25 meters. Okay, so this is faster. If you break it down further, okay, then you'll find that in each second here, every second, okay, we're going to travel 20 meters, okay? So in one second, we will travel 20 meters, okay? So in every second during this section, we travel 20 meters. We're traveling equal distances in each of these seconds. I haven't quite drawn that right, but you get the idea. Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine, 10. In every one of those second periods there, we're traveling 20 meters. Okay, so in 10 seconds, we travel 200 meters. So that tells us this is a constant speed.